cocaine, heroin, tramadol, marijuana are some of the drugs or substances mostly abused with a false sense of feeling good, as in stress, or to avoid reality. According to reports, there are over 190 million of such drugs users around the world, and such problems keep increasing at an alarming rate, especially amongst adults under the age of 30. Apart from the long-term damage the drug abuse causes the body, it also affects the larger society negatively. The bigger challenge, however, is the rising level of drug abuse amongst women and children, which is quite alarming. Young girls are dropping out of school. You get my point? See some getting pregnant, maybe in JS2, JS3, you know? You are, you are, their parents are struggling to see that they send them to school. But they, don't know, they, they, they drop out. There are many of them here. They are not doing anything. What would, what, what, what would they con contribute to the society? Nothing. I want to really encourage the NDLA for their work so far. But I want to really admonish the youth to really flee from drug abuse. The thing is that, uh, and secondly, I want to advise the, the pharmaceutical agencies and the pharmacies around that all these drugs, especially these drugs that are abused, like for example, the tramadols and other uh, likely old drugs that are abused, should be seized. It affects our youth mostly. It destroys their, their careers and their dreams. Stakeholders bear their minds on the possible hazard drug abuse and substance intake might do to the society. Governments have less intervention in some certain areas so that they can be able to support those in the area that have been supported. Apart from the long-term damage to the body, Drug addicts who use needles are also at the risk of contracting infections like HIV and hepatitis B and C. Dr. Ogubwa Osiagu speaks on the hazard. Uh, marijuana use, cocaine, there are consequences also, especially for your heart, for the brain. You know, people go into uh, episodes of confusion. Um, and for the hand, they actually can refine heart attack in a young person. In order to curb the challenge of drug and substance abuse in Nigeria, especially in the northern region, the federal government inaugurated a two-tier presidential intervention structure for the elimination of drugs and substance abuse with a call for collective action to help those affected to build a new life. Nigeria is hitherto considered as a transit nation for illicit drugs before year 2013 is now internationally recognized as a user nation. The use and abuse of drugs by adolescents have become one of the most disturbing health-related phenomena in Nigeria and other parts of the world. Meanwhile, the federal government has been urged to fast-track measures to cut the supply chain of drugs in the country. It is also imperative to interface with community leaders across the country to set up committees on drug abuse at the federal, state and local government levels. The need for counseling and rehabilitation centers interfacing with religious organizations and traditional leaders as well as enlightenment campaign cannot be overemphasized. Hello dog, no need to check me. I no say no waiting my body need. Is it your body? In Abuja, Phoebe Kure, Liberty News.